found him. I had to sleep until evening, but I found him. Come on, you slow ass motherfucker, get up here. I have a thing for you. Man. Man. Hey. Hand it over. Oh, is this from Pete? Sorry to cause so much trouble. I wonder what it is. Oh, wow, paper dragonfly. This is so cool. Thanks, mister. Yeah, no problem. All right, cool. I did the thing. Now, can I do the actual thing? Target. Save it. Oops. Just let me in. Please, Lord, just do the thing that you're supposed to do. Thank you. Cutscene. Dragonfly. Eric won't put the stupid thing down. Are you blind? Can't you see that it's flying? Dr. Nutmeg and his son, Willie, were working into the wee hours of the night to make parts for the flying machine. I must have fallen asleep. When it came to, it was already morning. Thank Christ. Power and flapping speed don't affect flight. It's the shape of the wings. Sorry, I had to use your trotmobile for parts, guys. Don't worry about it, Doc. It's what the flap flyer would have wanted. Don't cry, brother. It's true. Just change over to the flying parts. There are three of them total. First is the front propeller, which will drive you forward in the air. Cool. tail goes in back, and that lets you steer the vehicle. Cool. Lastly, the wings will keep you floating off the ground. If you don't use all three at once, you won't be able to fly. But you're doing more than just flying. Remember, this is the bloody mantis you're up at. When you're ready to go, meet me in the garage. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. My name, my name is Vanilla, and I'm constantly starving. Eat a flower. All right, let's do this. Ooh, probably a wise idea. me up, Doc. Make me fly. Hmm, that tri-mobile looks pretty beaten up. You refilled all my fuel points. That should do it. Now, go get ready for liftoff. Okay. Big frame. No. Big frame. No. Arm frame. Wing. Arm frame. Frame. Color. Back frame. Tail. Hmm. 
The new frame has decreased your maximum HP value. You'll be reimbursed by the loss by one. Alright. Good, you're all set to fly. This is going to be a long battle. You know how rough these guys are. Think you're ready for it? It's go time. That's the spirit. Off we go. How am I supposed to fight with this shit, though? Get Connie back. You hear? Yeah, yeah. Star. He did it. Today, a trap mobile took to the sky for the first time ever. Me at the helm. It's like nothing I've ever felt before. But now, but now is not the time for bragging. Connie is being held captive on that giant airship. A little bit of humble bragging going on there, I see. Oh, it controls exactly like I expected it to. Okay, cool. Okay, so, uh, to turn left and right. Do opposite ups and downs on sticks to pivot left and right. You okay? You go up, press down on the sticks to go down, press down on the sticks. Can I can I attack? No attacking. I can boost. Oh, interesting. No jumping either. Okay. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Go down this way. Everything that can kill me. Help! Honey, really? Really? There is nothing that denotes where you are, lady. Help! Oh, there she is. How'd you get Help! free? Come now, Miss Collier. Come back inside. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go. Flying trot. Fucking right, man. I'll save you! Listen to me! If you can get underneath! Oh, shut up, you little strumpet! Shut up, All Mr. Right, Mustache. Kid, I'll take you on. Do it. Raise the gondola! jarring for those that are inside to have it just all magically be upside down. Alright, time to land. I landed. Okay, I can attack. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Come on! Okay, land. Land, come on, you fuck. God. Game? Game. 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 Let me land. Thank you. This fight sucks. Not gonna lie. I might have to do this again. No! Why am I fucking stuck? God damn it. Okay, this is becoming annoying. I'm getting slightly pissed. 
tired of doing stupid garbage. Come on, kill him. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's why. It's because those things are fucking stupid. Tough shit. I did it anyway. What oh, is this thing letting out the air now? I pulled the plug. Releasing the hot air from the giant flying fortress, and it rapidly descended toward Martlet Falls. Hey, Connie, safe Mallow. Uh, thank you, Connie. Connie. What up, Basil and Marjoram? It's all gone. It's over. I can't believe it! And if Master finds out about this, it'll be all over for me! Give it up, Bergamot! The Bloody Mantis is done for! <laughs> Please, forgive me! Supposed to be the commander? The, the Connie? Is it Savory? <sighs> what? Savory? Is that really you? I really like that hairstyle, Savory. Oh, my, thank you. No way! This has to be some kind of joke, Save. I'm sorry I had to lie to you all this time, Basil, but I'm the one who's leaving the Bloody Mantis. What? But why? No specific reason, other than the fact that this fallen country must be destroyed. Oh, Vanilla. <laughs> to think how often you've stood in our way. But you'll never stop us. We'll keep going until this country is in act. Goodbye, everyone. I'm afraid I still have business to attend to. Savory! We can't let her get away! Good. Yeah, we have to find a way to beat her. No! Savory, I can't believe she'd really do such terrible thing. There has to be some other reason. I mean... Yeah. You have to stop Savory. Thank you, Marjoram. You the you the man. Savory is in a different trapmobile than usual. You should power yours up first. Okay. He did that already. <sighs> okay. Um. Trident arm. Okay, right. Left arm is gonna be cannon. Grill. Can do that. And back frame. I think I'm gonna put the carriage on just because it's light. A little bit lighter than the tail. No windshield. Nope. Okay. Stopper. I'm working on it. Okay, um, I probably could end the episode there, but I think I'm relatively close to the end, so I'm I'm just gonna finish this. This is this is it. This is the last. Savory. Assuming I don't die. Stay out of this coriander. If you interfere, I won't have any choice. Oh shit! I hope I can Snap save. Snap out of oh, it, Savory. Fuck. You're not a bad person. 
You don't know anything about me. Huh? If you really think you can stop me, you're welcome to try. Savory challenged me to a duel. By the look in her eyes, I knew she was serious. Huh, well this is a turn. Fuck, I probably should have saved. Oh shit. Okay. Well, don't die. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Yes, okay, good. I won! Half naked Poseidon, goddamn right. After a fierce battle, I cornered Savior, but the wreckage blocking her escape road gave away. Oh no. Oh no. Don't die, Savory. No, not yet. It can't end here. Savory! But her travel wheel was destroyed. Do you need to change equipment? We'll help. Use whatever you need. Just find a way to stop her. Stage arm, claw arm. Normal body. Don't need to do that. Yes? Yeah, alright. Like frames, no. Not even that strong. I think I'm gonna do spider legs though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Look at this. This thing is beefy. Alright. You guys gonna let me save? without saving. Oh, game. Why? Why? Oh, yep. I chase after her toward Martlet Falls. No saving. I'm like a boss and a half down right now. The maneuverability is low. This is interesting. Oh, get wrecked, Savory. And now we just ride it out. I think I was supposed to, like, not kick her ass so fast here. That didn't work. Who's this? Don't take it out on her. She was only following orders. Dandelion? Dandelion? You should be thanking her, Connie. Savory did all of this for Chicory's sake. What are you talking about? This was all to avenge Chicory. These people need to pay for watching him die. 
The grand finale was supposed to immerse this country in a sea of flames, but there was one miscalculation. How were we to know a Trotmobile could fly? Our biggest mistake was you. I never imagined you could come between us and our goal. Huh. You underestimated me. We'll settle this eventually. But first, I have to burn Neferberg to the ground. No. Vanilla, you have to stop him. Please. Yeah, no problem. Still no save. Oh, get fucking wrecked, dandelion. You done, son. You done. Yeah, this is probably supposed to be a fuck ton more difficult. But it wasn't. It was easy. But I have to fight him again. You know, I was wondering if I was going to be able to take this path at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I do love this music right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight him again. Chasing after Dandelion and Savory, I came to Seagull Beach, the place where I was found washed ashore. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> Seagull Beach. This is the first place I ever saw you, Vanilla. <laughs> if I knew it would go this far, I would have buried you under that rock. Dandelion! That was you? You're the reason I couldn't do it, Connie. But I don't make mistakes twice. It's time we settled this once and for all, Vanilla! Sure. I'm gonna lose. The beach where it all began. Dandelion is coming to attack. He looks like he has a pretty powerful... <clears throat> ...mobile. Final battle start. And fuck off. Fuck, that's that's heavy. But that that hurts. Drone. Yes. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Yes, I did. I'm apparently floating on water. Like, actually hovering on the water. Smoke rises from Dandelion's trap mobile, and finally, it moves no more. Killed him. Really wish that my mic would start picking up my, my whispers. Oh well. I don't see Dandelion. Savory? Please, let him go, Connie. Savory. What was that? 
Oh, police bots. It's over, Dandelion. He told us all about your evil scheme. Burkamot. It's no use, Master Dandelion. Let's just give up. You really are worthless. I guess saving you was my first mistake. Snap out of it! I'm entirely sane, boy! It's the world that's gone mad! Here, let me play you some music. The evolution of machines is nothing but the degradation of mankind! If it wasn't for our damn fascination with machines, Chicory would be alive! I knew it the first time I rode a Trotmobile. Machines are evil! And yet you just use them to try and kill everybody. Yet at the same time, I knew I could use that power to avenge my brother. Yeah, yeah, see. I sold my soul to that devil in order to raise this country to ashes. You failed. Why did you become the White Phantom? My plan required a great deal of money. Fighting was the quickest way to get it. But it takes more than money to build an army. I needed to organize. And everything was going stupendously. Until you showed up in that Trotmobile of yours. That flying Trotmobile of yours. This isn't over. With a few modifications, I could use that Trotmobile to engulf this world in flames! You... <laughs> what do you think of that? It's even more ingenious than the grand finale! You've totally gone insane. Dandelion. Totally gone insane. Who's the idiot now, you big failure? Savory. No. Oh. What did you do? Bergamot, you fucking Savory. asshole. I'm sorry, Dandelion. It looks like I couldn't save you. But you did. I'm so glad that we met. Uh, everyone, please forgive him. Huh? Can't you see his agony? Doesn't he deserve some pity? No, I'm not gonna forgive him. Oh, you ruined it. Savory! I didn't ruin anything. I'm not gonna forgive Come. this asshole. This will be my final song. I hope you think of good lyrics. Also, fuck you, Basil, for wanting me to forgive this asshole. He just tried to kill everybody. Just because Savory's died in his fucking Bandana, arms you're under arrest. doesn't mean that he deserves to be redeemed. Just let me wait. The sunset. No, fuck off. Throw his ass in cuffs. Take his ass away. Why are people being sympathetic towards this asshole? The end of this game isn't making any goddamn sense. In terms of emotional weight. Maybe there's something I missed? As the sun went down, the handcuffs were slapped on Dandelion's wrists. I don't know, man. Maybe I, I missed something. Maybe, cause... 
They never fully explain what happened with Chicory. All you know is he died. Oh god, here we go. I'm, I'm gonna shut up and let these lyrics speak for themselves. I love that I'm wearing a swimsuit and a sombrero and all these final cutscenes. It's amazing.
musician Vanilla's recollection. Vanilla, a.k.a. Half-Naked Poseidon, was a breath of fresh air. He has driven 164 kilometers and defeated 86 enemies. He washed ashore on Seagull Beach, where Connie found him. Later, he saved Neferberg from the notorious Killer Elephants, debuted as the harmonica player for the Garland Globetrotters, and stopped rigged matches at the New Haven Battle Arena. He fought gallantly and lived as a renowned gladiator. Afterwards, he located Malo and took him to safety. He fought in the Sabia Desert as a member of the civilian army and led his forces to victory. After that, Connie and Malo were saved. He infiltrated the grand finale, only to botch the mission. He helped Dr. Nutmeg create a flying trotmobile, shot down the grand finale, and rescued Connie and Malo. He cornered Dandelion, who had secretly been controlling the Bloody Mantis. From then on... Yeah, I'm gonna save that clear data. Save it real good. Real good. Get ready for All right, so I'm going to load this because it takes place a year later. I'm not going to play anymore. This is this is this is it. Um, but I, I want to see. How this starts because it starts differently than it did the first time. One year later. later. Look at me. I've been waiting for you. Someone asked me to give you this letter upon your return. Ah, a letter from Connie, nice. Now go. Our voyage ends here in New Haven. Best of luck to you. Now go. We'll see the one who's waiting for you. You haven't been here in a while, right? Isn't there someone you should say hello to? You gonna move on. We'll be relaxing at the bar or something. Alright. Let's see, what's this letter say? This is the resolution of the story. Read it. Then on. How have you been? I'm still uncertain how we left things between us. I'm not sure if you feel the same way, but I'm waiting to see you. Where? Okay. Um, I guess this episode's going a bit longer. Super Deluxe Mega Episode. I'm... I'm going to assume she's at in Neferberg. Order. To the station. There's quite a bit more left. Alright, well, in that case, um, not the finale. Bonus episode. You know what? Nah. Nah, alright. Yeah, bonus episode. Do epilogue after this. Alright, peace. Thanks for watching. There's still a little more of this. Catch you next time.